On the open road, this company is delivering to motorists. Music the way it ought to be heard. As the 5G era draws near, can you connect to the future with Harman? Every January, the tech industry assembles in Las Vegas to show off their newest products. It's called it CES. That's that shindig formerly known as the Consumer Electronics Show. I've been there. It's really wild. This year's CES got rolling yesterday, which is why tonight we're checking in with one of my favorite consumer technology places. I'm talking about Harman, the maker of all sorts of audio and visual technology for the connected car, as well as the home sound systems and headphones. I bet you got something from Harman in your house down nearly three years ago. Harman was acquired by Samsung, and we loved the stock. And now the company remains a subsidiary of the South, South Korean tech titan. But even though we can't own the stock directly, we can still benefit from the management's brilliant and innovative expertise. So let's take a closer look with one of the oldest friends of the show, Dinesh Paliwal. He's the president of Harman. Get a sense of what he's got cooking now that CES 2020 is in full swing. Mr. Paliwal, welcome back to Mad Money. Great to be on your show, Jim. You know, Dinesh, I miss you very much. And I miss you not just because of how what you did with Harman, I, because you have unbelievable insight. Tell me what it means to have sold 100 million headphones. Jim, we're in a pretty good place right now. You know, on the consumer side, which is Harman's oldest heritage, we are gaining one new headphone customer a second, which is 32 million new customers in one year. So we're very happy. And we have come from number nine position to number three and the fastest growing ahead of Apple, ahead of Sony, ahead of Bose. Couldn't be happier. But Jim, CES right now is buzzing. And it's very different from last five, seven years, what I have seen. So something special is in the air. It's not about unique cutting edge technology. It's about finally these things like augmented reality, artificial intelligence, smart everything, smart display, passenger economy, 5G, they are starting to come together to create a solution and companies are coming together to create a collaboration, finally putting it all together because one company cannot do it alone. So I'm very happy to see what I'm seeing right now. Well, Dinesh, let, let's talk about, say, I uh, use the example of gaming. Uh, gaming is maybe the most popular thing uh, in the world right now. It, and Harman is now doing some things in gaming, making it so that you've got the best quality technology uh, to go along with the unbelievable games. Why did you move into gaming so aggressively? So, Jim, uh, we've been in headphones for the past 40 years. The recording reference headphones were made by AKG and JBL. But we entered into consumer headphones, and this year, I'm very proud that JBL launched first in industry. It's a JBL Quantum. It's a patented technology which really attracts, puts actually the gamer in the context and contextual. A special, you can do many headphones, but this one really gives you immersive 360 view of up to 40 channels in some games we have. So we believe this is a fastest growing category, $35 billion market in 2024, and we want to play big in that. All right, this so the Dinesh, one. this morning, uh, a very, uh, a Catherine Ross who works with me at the street, said, Jim, maybe you're making too much of 5G. Is it possible that it's really just overhyped? Please tell me, Dinesh, that's as big as I think it is. So, Jim, you're the master, but you're asking me, so I'm going to give you my view. Uh, look, 5G has been hype for the last many years. At the same time, we all know, without 5G, if you could not really apply our AR and AI, the smart IoT, the smart displays, the passenger economy, the shared mobility. This morning, I was part of BMW's announcement that first 5G-enabled telematics would be in commercial car in 2021, and that would be supplied by Harman Samsung. And this is going to go spread like wildfire. So 5G is here, and Jim, 5G is 100 times faster than 4G. And by the way, we never had 4G in real life. We only used 3, 3 and a half. So 5G will give us what took 28 minutes to download a movie. 5G will do it in four seconds. Oh. So this will allow Teslas of the world, the BMWs, the GM to really take the sensor from car, take it to the cloud and have the action come with no latency. It will really leapfrog autonomous driving that in initiatives. 
connected lifestyle, connected professional side, connected life, the whole office environment. So 5G is real, it's happening. This will require standards across the United States. This will require global public-private partnership, Jim. But technology is ready, it's mature, it's under application now, I see it. Well, if it's that fast, and I'm, I'm holding up my 11, why, why do I need uh, cable TV? I mean, it sounds faster or equal to cable. You know, uh, this, is, this is an interesting word. A lot of new players have entered. Uh, those who are streaming live, they launch latest movie from Netflix in the theater, same time is coming on Netflix. So a lot of content creators are coming. And privately, people like you and I, if you have competence, we are creating content, spreading it, and streaming live. So I think this is going to be a play. Who can give you high quality, relevant content, on time, everywhere, any time, and on time? And has to be high resolution and without buffering. I hate buffering. <laughs> uh, 5G will take care of that. So I'm, I'm really excited about consumer side, where we are able to bring end-to-end -end Samsung's capability from chip, from compute platform, to the mobile 2.5 billion phones, the whole network, and most importantly, this company understand user experience, UI. And when you bring that all together in home, in car, and in enterprise, I think we're in a pretty, uh, pretty good position to leapfrog, and I think that's what will define. But this definition will not come alone from Samsung Harman, Jim. This will require our partnership with Microsoft, with Google, with Amazon, uh, companies like uh, Ten cents in China, which by the way we are showing collaboration, and my dear friend uh, from Salesforce.com. I know you love them, and I love them. We have actually a BMW car here, showing full application of Salesforce.com, without distraction. As a passenger, you can really orchestrate your pursuit from the car. So it's 5G, which will make it right. real time with no latency. I want to. I want to be clear. It won't okay. happen next year. It won't happen this year. I think it's 2021 end, right. and then. After that, it's going to really spread. Okay, yeah. look, that's enough for me to be able to start investing in that, in that, in, in what I regard to be a tidal wave. <laughs> and I want to thank you so much to Dinesh Paliwal, President and CEO of Harman, and a great friend of the show. Great to see you, sir. Mad Money's back after the break. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.